Um, this year, what do you have on the table here is all new for 2013. Um, I guess I'll probably first start with our new Pro uh, product line edition, our Punch Pro. As you can see, this is not a conventional car audio type of speaker. We have um, added, we on the line right now, we have a, uh, a bullet, uh, one inch tweeter, uh, a six inch and an eight inch. And this year we're just releasing our 10 inch to complement and fill out the line. Um, this is used in a segment of the market that is a little unique and different where it's pure, pure SPL. And you can see it's not designed to necessarily fit in a regular door mount or door opening or in many locations, but it's necessary to get the most amount of flux and the highest efficiency on it. The 10 inch driver is about 98 dB, one watt, one meter. And the thing that's how it's sort of, we made it car audio applicable because most of the products like this are just generic pro drivers that people use in car audio. Well, we've added just convenient spring terminals. We've added our flex fit mounting that we used on our, our, all of our product lines for flexible mounting hole patterns. Um, the cone is ultra lightweight, uh, Kevlar reinforced paper cone with a treated cloth edge. And this is a solid machine uh, aluminum phase plug. It really helps in the power handling. This is, we conservatively rated at about 350 watts uh, RMS on the power handling for this 10 inch woofer. The one thing when we did this and added and needed to fill out the line is we needed to add a way to have multiple drivers, multiple configuration, multiple speakers, multiple tweeters. So feedback from uh, the field and the, this, these users of uh, this pro product um, said we got to have a way to connect to multiple drivers. So we introduced uh, the new crossovers. So there's a 4 ohm and an 8 ohm version. It's a PP4X and a PP8X. And with it, uh, what's critical with it, we have multiple terminal connections or connections for woofers. There's two woofer connections and one tweeter. And it doesn't matter what tweeter you have and available to match up because we have a switch that matches the impedance, the four or eight ohm tweeter models. So as long as the impedance matches the, uh, the switch setting for the tweeter, you're good. And as long as each terminal, uh, the net impedance at each terminal matches four ohms or eight ohms, you're good. You can use two, four, six, eight, as many drivers as long as the net impedance series parallel or whatever you connect is set up properly. So that's our new Pro Editions. Um, one key thing, again, we listened to our customers and we saw that uh, and a lot of feedback to say, I, you know, matching amplifiers and matching power with your subwoofers and single and dual con woofer configurations uh, d didn't match up well. So we had a long-standing single voice goal on our P1 series, uh, a 4 ohm and 8 ohm. Well, we discontinued the 8 ohm this year and we're putting in a 2 ohm. And so this is now available in 8, 10, 12, and 15, single voice goal, 2 ohm but it allows for a lot more amplif amplifier configurations to be able to match up with the P1 family, single voice calls. Um, now I want to talk about our whole new wholesale changes we made on our new uh, prime entry level uh, full range product line. Um, probably the key thing to know and the, the best value or the best technology you could say that we put into this product line was our um, uh, embedded phase coherent tweeter. Essentially, as you can see, the tweeter is embedded down in the voice coil of the woofer. And that's critical for a couple reasons. First of all, there's obvious clearance. There's no issue with clearance when it comes to putting behind factory grills. But on top of that, um, by having the voice coils come from the same, uh, same source and same as the voice coil of the uh, tweeter and the uh, woofer, uh, the, the arrival time to our ears at the same uh, at the same time and they're in phase. So essentially what that means is when they're producing the similar uh, and near the crossover region where there's similar frequencies being produced by both drivers the arrival time and they sum properly and a simple crossover passive crossover works ideally it's ideally suited for that. So acoustically it's it's a big benefit as well. Um, also improvements on this year's product is we've used, even on our entry level now, uh, uh, rubber surrounds and uh, the cone we changed to a thinner and lighter, stiffer cone. It's a 
mineral filled or okay. high content mica filled uh, polypropylene cone. So there's been a lot of a lot of benefits to that. So um, that was a six and a half or, or six and three quarter inch model. This is <laughs> this is the four inch model, and um, this one fit in, fit behind any location. Again, it allows a lot of flexibility. There's breakaway tabs now on all four corners, so you can do a lot of mounting options. Um, but we, we had to have three ways for the category for the market. Um, it doesn't use that same technology, but we did approach it a similar way. We wanted to get the distance as short as possible for, a lot, for both benefits of clearance. You can see the clearance of the, uh, is, doesn't protrude as far as our, our prior model, and that's been done through the use of that. We actually put more money into the tweeter that's in neodymium magnets on these tweeters. And neodymium has cost more in the industry lately, but it was necessary to meet the performance requirements. So we did that on both. This, uh, this is the six and a half with, again, this is a mounting hole pattern that'll fit in just about any six and a half inch location. Um, we have six by nine two-way, six by nine three-way to complement the line. We did it on, the, on our six by nines. We have six by eights that do also have the embedded phase coherent tweeter. So that pretty much covers the prime. So now, one of the things, if you're here at the show this year, you'll see in some of our marketing materials, uh, we have a thing that uh, we just got awarded. We're the first company in the industry uh, to be recognized uh, with a verified by Clipple endorsement. And essentially what that means is um, Clipple is a company that produces uh, test equipment for our industry. It's acoustic, electro, uh, mechanical, transducer test equipment. And it's very expensive. It's probably the, uh, the most respected equipment on the market. And with it, we've been able to utilize and discover uh, new issues or problems and ways to improve speakers that we couldn't really do before. So we've had a lot of benefit on the R&D side. Well, we've also invested in validation side and power testing and reliability with Clipple equipment. Because if you do on the design side, you use materials, techniques, processes, and testing. If it's not being produced, each one's not the same. Uh, all that work that we put on the front end is lost. So it's been a big, uh, a big investment for Rockford. But we're an early adopter, one of the first to use uh, Clipple back over a decade ago.